trying to do? No, no, we, you know, we recycle and we have uh, Sunology, the sun... Sungevity. Sungevity and... Sunology. You know, we do all that stuff. And, uh, compost. We compost. We have clean water in the pool, no chlorine. All, you know, just, you know, whatever we can think of. But it's just common sense, you know, just try to don't litter, you know? Well, I, I've been doing things a long time and I'm just gradually trying to do more because I it's hard to do everything completely green these days, you know, and you just have to start with something and, and like be, become aware and learn things. So I've been organizing uh, my children's school to be green and do different things with their uh, their environment, their planting, their their clean space and their recycling efforts and teaching people about green stuff. I really think <laughs> that you could start anywhere because I think people get so overwhelmed they think like there's too much to do I can't even deal with it it's ridiculous and whatever I do won't make a difference so if you just start with one thing and then do that one thing and then you can think well what else can I do and what else and what else and then eventually it'll be just second nature. Um, you know, you, you pick and choose and you try your best. I ended up using disposable diapers, but then I traded in my car and got a Prius. So, you know, it was back and forth. You try, I, I felt better doing that. Um, you know, we had just it was just a solar heater for the pool, you know. And then, but then you discovered that you actually had a hole in the hose and it was running gallons and gallons of water. So every time, I mean, we're human. Every, anything you can do, any little thing, we're trying to ban plastic bags in our house. Trying, trying, trying. Um, it's, yeah, but it means you have to wash a lot more stuff. It's pain, but, you know, you do it. Um, I'm in a sort of community of people in my neighborhood that are responsible for this organization and they show up when I do my solar thing and I show up when they do their global green thing and I feel very um, lucky to be invited to support what they're doing. I work with a company called Sungevity that was sort of at the very forefront of creating a solar lease and you tell people about it and they say yes but how much is it and you say well it's free and they say well yeah but how much is it and you say no you don't pay anything. So it's a pretty, you go to sungevity.com and uh, you put in West Side as the referral code and you get, you know, solar panels on your roof, which are, are so much simpler than people think. One of the guys who runs this company said, the sun hits the panel and the panel makes the beer cold. It's about that simple. So I feel, um, you know, excited to talk about it. And Matt, who runs Global Green, and Ed have shown up at events where I've tried to pitch my free thing. <laughs> It's so small, you know, my house is, take, uses too much energy, but there are panels on the roof. My hybrid car still uses gas, but I'm working on converting it. I'm just like most of my friends, except for the, you know, hardcore Ed Bagley's of the world that we all pray to, who's just one little imperfect step at a time trying to be a citizen of the world. Well, Global Green is a, a, an organization I've been a big fan of for, for some years now. I mean, it's it's pretty incredible from like what they're doing locally with greening schools to, you know, I've got my mom here tonight. We're from uh, from Ohio and in Youngstown. They've got a great program going there with a lot of urban farming and, and things like that. So, you know, it's pretty cool how uh, just seeing the impact here in our own community and then on a national scale too. So. Well, I mean, the, their programs are pretty wide-reaching, but obviously, especially lately, there's a big focus on, on buildings. I mean, 40% of, uh, you know, of carbon, and, and the problem is, is with our, our cities and the way we're building. So I think, you know, just tweaking that, we can make a huge, huge, huge impact. Well, I try to bike and do my errands that way. I'm, I mean, I have started wearing a great geeky helmet, so that took it a step further. But, uh, you know, my groceries and stuff like that, I can grab on my bicycle basket and, you know, and, and try to like, have a hybrid and whatnot. If it's, if it's actually time to buy a car, you know, it's good to make um, a really informed decision. You know, don't rush out and switch your car. But, uh, but yeah, and I actually bought it um, used, so it, it sort of had already broken even, you know. A little recycled hybrid. <laughs> yeah, double green, right? 
um, and just little things with conserving and you know trying not to use plastic and and also too I, I just don't like using that stuff you know it's better for you too if you can um, switch some of those choices and then it just becomes second nature you know you, you grab the canvas bag and the you know the uh, stainless uh, water bottle you don't need the plastic you know it, it just becomes uh, just part of your lifestyle uh, you know what's fascinating is I've actually worked with Global Green um, a number of times over the past over the past four or five years. So anytime I'm around and I can support what they do, I'm, I'm here to do it. And it's nice to reward people who've actually made a difference. So I'm very happy to be here. I think the simplest thing, it's been a, a gradual, but I think the simplest thing is just being aware of the products you use, being aware of things like drinking bottled water and, you know, think about how things are disposed. Um, just, just take a look at your life. You'll probably find ways in which you can make a difference.